Wigan Athletic have named Uwe Rosler as their new manager after Brentford confirmed that the former Manchester City player had left the League One club. Brentford said um, they had received an approach from Wigan on Thursday and reluctantly agreed to let Rosler leave once compensation had been agreed. Um, Rosler watched Wigan's championship match with Millwall on Saturday from the stands, um, leaving Graham Barrow to take charge of the team. He starts work. He started work on Sunday. Um, and was introduced formally on Monday today. Um, Rosler, as said, just won League One Manager of the Month after Brentford's run of six wins in a draw. Um, but the Wigan chairman, Dave Whelan, um, described his new appointment, the, su- the successor to Owen Coyle, who left by a mutual agreement last Monday as one of the brightest young managers in the Football League and his ambition is to manage in the Premier League. Oh my god. You know what, yeah? I think I think that's hilarious. I think that is hilarious because the thing is the thing is with the thing is with this story about Rosler. I think it's personally mockage. And oh, and again a big shout out um to a, to an Ibis teammate of mine Pete Snell who supports Arsenal and Brentford. And the but for me the fact of the for me the fact of the matter is we have for years we've talked about Clubs having more loyalty towards managers and not getting rid of managers so quickly. But I think Uwe Rosler has done... He's done the complete 180. One manager of the month and the next day buggered off. I don't know what... That could almost have been a what's up with that moment for our segment later in the show. I don't get it and I don't agree with it. Personally, I think Rosler could have brought Brentford into the championship instead of taking the easy route and taking Wigan. I don't. I. Then I think there must have been something more to this than meets the eye, because Brentford, as said, six wins and a draw in November. They they are high flying in League One at the moment. So I don't understand why he's left. I mean, if it was me, and I had gotten as close as Brentford did, not just to automatic promotion last season, but to promotion via the playoffs as well, I would personally want to get that monkey off my back if you will I would personally want to avenge that and get my and get that team up into up into into the championship I would that 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 would be my view but it's It's me I don't know I think it's mockage I think it flies in the face of I I just think it flies in the face of everything that we've kind of spoken about in terms of managerial stability where you've got a manager who just buggers off straight after getting getting manager of the month. I think it's the supremest form of mockage that that has happened. And the fact, but the fact, but the fact of the matter is, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, my teammate Pete had it right. He was he was like, you know what? Shocked by it, but I'm hoping that Brentford have a plan. And I concur with that. Hopefully, Brentford have got a plan. You'd hope so, but it's one lemon, man. It was a shock. Put it that way, it was a shot. It was very, very much a shot. Um, I mean, it's one, I mean, it's one of them ones. Um, who else wanted to, who else wanted to, someone actually wanted to jump in on this. I think Tom Wood, you wanted to jump in on this, didn't you? Yeah, no, I, was, I, I think Rosler's a good appointment, but I don't think he's got the experience in the championship, but he's got a good enough squad for the backing for him to help him get back up the table. Well, suppose it's one of them ones where if Wigan get in- eliminated from the group stage of the Europa League, it will help them because that's a lot of games to negotiate. I mean, to get from one end of the Europa League and win it, there's 19 games. So that's basically half the season. So yeah. I think that's I think that's going to be I think that's very much going to be the important thing. But yeah. it's, it's one of them ones. We'll see. We'll see if Rosler gets some money to spend in January and if he can work with what he's got. Because January's not that far away. We're like, what, three weeks? Three, four it's weeks? Quick, it? Yeah. The year has swung by quick. But yeah. On them. But we also we also had um, Russ Vernon. You wanted to jump in on Rossler leaving Brentford and going to Wigan. Yeah, because I, I was off listening to his listening to his press conference that I did earlier today, Liam, because it was streamed on the Wigan Athletic website and he's now going to be on there where he's now going to be on their 
play on via the web via the Wigan's website as well for those that missed it live earlier. And he and he said the if he was talking to Dave Willis said as soon as he spoke to you Ray Rosler, he knew he was the right man for the job even though he took a, a week to replace Owen Coyle because Owen Coyle was sacked last Monday. Well he, he said sacked but he heard it for on Sky Sports News he was offered to resign and really said yes. Not sure how true that one is. But I think Rosler will be a decent appointment for Wigan. He'll, he says he's going to be playing 4 3 3 and he's going to be playing attacking minded. So he says he doesn't mind if they get caught on the counter attack. His philosophy is get the ball and get the ball forward and quick. So hopefully he can help him and help him go up the league. Cause I can see, because for me, Wigan of a Premiership club who struggled last season was the first team to win the Premier League and I mean win the FA Cup and get relegated in the same season last last year was Wigan so hopefully they can bounce back from that and do good and get back into the top flight this season along with us and Leicester I was going to say I, I, I was going to say I swear Leicester I remember and middle the middle come end of the season I was gonna say I swear I remember like Middlesbrough and Leicester doing that, but that was the um, League Cup back in the back in the late to, in the mid to late nineties. I remember them though. But I mean, I mean Jamie Bailey, you wanted to jump in as well, yeah? Jamie. Yeah, sorry. Um... <laughs> He's too busy in the Skype chat, what? just mocking people. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's, uh, yeah. I don't know how you don't how people haven't realised that Clarence Seedorf or should I say Yan, um, Yannick Sag- Sagbo look alike. Um, Yannick Sagibo, and Sagbo. Yeah, and um, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Russ, but it just seems like you're a short of breath. Uh, I'm uh, asking myself for myself, but even I don't I don't panic when I'm saying things that much. Um, I'm, it must you're be a thing. Man. I don't know. Oh, Must be a lead thing. I would, don't know. Would you um, reckon? Would you reckon of the Rosler or the Uwe Rosler situation? Stop I only got. I only got one thing to say on that. Well, one thing to sing on that, and this. Um, what was it again? I can't even remember now because it's been that long. See, you waste a lot of time. This is what happens. Um, Wait, hold on. Was, Who's been yeah, wasting I remember time? Now, no, 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 no. I know what it is. They leave when they want. They leave when they want. Football managers, they leave when they want. <laughs> Dee. <laughs> Dee. <laughs> it's absolute, it's, the, it's the most classic way of looking at it. Look, your your manager's done done the same thing. He was at Swansea and he didn't really have to leave. Um, who else? There's, a, there's been so many managers um, chopping and changing and now if you look at it, everybody's asking for Moyes to leave. So technically, if he does leave, then it'll be just another media circus um, outlet for everybody to get a hold of. Man, I want Moyes to stay at Man United. He's doing a fantastic job. Wink, wink. Know, but, but this is the reason why I had to sing the song because it's it's becoming one of those jokes where I have to, where it's either a song that you sing or you're just gonna be um, you're just gonna be looking for the next exit exit door anyway. So um, yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens with that with that job um, at Brentford. You know what? You never know. One of us could be taking it. <laughs> the last time I went onto the Brentford website, I remember them actually um, advertising for a first team manager. Well, all, I'm, all I can say, all I can say is this: if Brentford won a first team manager, I'm only down the road. Well, you never know. <laughs> literally, I'm not even. I'm not even ribbing. I am literally down the road. <laughs> yeah, that's a good position for you to be in. <laughs> if if you ever need a goalkeeping coach, let me know. Yeah. 